Good evening. I am here to present to you some knowledge about education, state and non-state institutions, and the COVID-19. So, let's get started. The main purpose of education is to educate an individual within a society, to prepare them for a job, and to be qualified in their desired work. Education also teaches values and morals of a society. Also, socializing and teaching them to adapt in a certain event. With the use of education, our society has been brighter than ever, and we must always continue to strive for the better. In a non-state institution, people or organizations that participate in international relations but not officially connected to a state or nation. An example of this is a bank, where the society's money is managed and can be used for trades, imports, and exports internationally. State institutions are the vice versa of the non-state institution because it has an it has an official connection within a state or a nation's government. They are both working to keep the society work and run smoothly. With the power of knowledge, it enhances our mind and the ability to think. It also helps us to solve problems and it improves our critical thinking and reasoning in a certain subject or phenomena. Our society has been really affected by the virus. A lot of people or even millions of people have lost their jobs and cannot meet their needs for a day and it's mostly hard on the ones who have, a, who have a family to feed and take care of. The economy has also been greatly affected by the pandemic. The poverty in the Philippines and the whole wor world has increased because it directly impacts the income due and manufacturing productivities. The non-state institutions are being a way to help someone in need and they can be a part of negotiations internationally because of the vaccine that is being made the non-state institutions or government are helping to contain the spread of the virus by setting different rules or health protocols like social distancing quarantine sanitizing and they are also helping people in need by giving medicines and food. The coronavirus or COVID-19 is new. So the scientists are learning more each day. People that are infected by the virus can experience mild and severe symptoms. Also, it can even lead to death. The, the most common symptoms that a person infected by the vir virus are fever, dry cough, and tiredness. While people with serious symptoms can experience chest pain, difficulty breathing, and loss of speech or movement, we can prevent the virus by wearing a mask, a face shield, distancing ourselves, from other people and taking vitamins that can help boost the immune system. Being infected does not mean in the end. it is the end and even there is no vaccine yet. But we can fight the virus with our own bodies. We just need to fight every day, believe that we can survive this obstacle and always choose being healthy and never forget to pray to God. That's all. Thank you for watching and listening to me. I hope this video helped you about the importance of education, state and non-state institutions, and the COVID-19.